Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to use the play sound nodes. Let's get started. So here we have our character, which is this gold ball. And we want the heart to play some sounds. To get started, we need to open the heart blueprint and we'll do that by clicking here. Here we have the two nodes, right? These two are very different, we'll see why later. So first we need to activate input on our actor. So we go and get begin play. We get the begin play event. We'll drag out and we'll type enable input right here the target is this actor and the player controller we just need to right click and type get player controller we'll link this into the player controller and now if you start the game any keyboard actions you press will be routed into this actor so now let's add some keyboard actions. The first keyboard action is any letter you want. I'll use F. If you don't see it, you just type the letter you want and then type key. And then you get all the letters. I want F. So we F, we drag out from pressed and connect it to play sound. Oops. Play sound 2D. The sound is the sound asset basically. The WAV file. Unreal Engine does not support MP3s, you need to have a WAV file. So we select it by clicking it and then we choose from some sounds. I'll choose explosion. So with this selected, we can play our sound. So we compile and save, go to the map, click play, and now if we press by pressing F you hear the sound. The problem is, since the sound is coming from this actor, the heart, in the, in the real world you would expect not to hear anything when you're this far away, but listen. Exactly the same volume, no difference. So to fix this problem, we go back to the blueprint and we use not play sound 2D, we want to play sound at location. The difference is that one sound is 2D and the other sound is 3D. So let's delete that for now. And let's link this. So to activate 3D sound, first we select our sound asset. But we need to do something, uh, two things differently. First thing, we need to give a, a location for this sound. So we'll take the reference for the static mesh, which is the heart. Drag it here. From this pin, we can get world location. So we take location, drag the return value to location. If you go ahead and play now, it will still be 2D. But if you want to have 3D sound, then you need to right click on attenuation, I think, and attenuation settings, right click on that and then select promote to variable. We can rename a variable right here. Rename it uh, 3D sound. Okay, 3D sound. It says here, please compile the blueprint. Every time you add a new variable, you have to compile the blueprint. Now it'll ask you to select something. You click on it and then you say create a new asset and select sound attenuation. Here we can uh, find a folder where you want to save it, give it a name, and click save. Oops, oh, 3D sound, not 2D sound. Okay, save. Now you can right click on this uh, speaker and you should have this screen open. So here we have a few settings to adjust. First is attenuation function. This is a linear one that is selected. Linear means you have a straight line, zero to a hundred. 
So if you're very close to the sound source, which is the location we have uh, specified here, if you're very close to this location, then the volume will be very loud. If you're very far away, then the volume is basically turned off for that sound. You can adjust this. You can have many different functions. So we'll, we'll go with the linear for now. The next thing we want to adjust is these two numbers. This is the radius of the sound. If you want this radius to be filling the whole map, just make these, sound, these numbers really big. But if you, if you want something like a small speaker or something that you want to hear or you're very close to it, then just adjust this to 100, 400, that's reducing the radius a lot. So now if we save this and go ahead and play it, if we press F from here, I'm pressing F now, I'm spamming, spamming F, spam, spamming F, you hear nothing, right? But now if we go close to the heart, we hear it. And it's even, it's not even very loud because you need to even go closer to it louder. If we press the F and then we leave, you could hear the sound going down. That's 3D sound. So that's how you use play sound at location and play sound 2D. Play sound 2D would fill the whole map with sound. Play sound at location just plays the sound at the location. But remember, it would not do anything if you don't add this attenuation variable and asset. So remember that. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please comment below. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. See you soon.